Get his attention myself. Hmm? Are you okay, babe? No. What's the matter? I'm having a hard time writing my new story. Oh, well, there's no rush to get it done. What? Yes, there is. I have an audience online that enjoys reading my monthly stories. You mean fanfics, right? Ugh, no, that's different. I started a new story that's completely original. A fanfic is when you use already existing characters. Duh. Ooh, point taken. Uh, well, is there anything I could do to help? I just need help getting inspired. Would a kiss inspire you? I need to expand my creative thinking. Think outside the box. Did you even hear what I just said? It's just, I'm not sure where I should take my current story. I want to keep its originality. Well, no kissies for me. Ugh, F. If you feel that way, maybe you should take a break and get some fresh air. You think so? Yeah, you've been cooped up in this house all weekend. You should get out and do something. You know, something that'll get your creative thinking flowing. You're right. You always come with the best ideas, Aaron. Thanks! I'll be back soon! Don't forget your jacket. Oh, right. Uh, well, I guess a kiss on the cheek works too. <laughs> oh, do you want to kiss me too? <laughs> hey, Kawai Chan! Ah, Afmo Senpai! Good to see you! Same to you, Kawai-chan. What are you doing outside? It's a little warmer today than it's been in a while, so I decided to take a stroll. Plus, I've been having a hard time writing. Oh, Kawai-chan loves writing! Yeah, I know. Remember when we used to write fanfics together in high school? Yep, those were the days. Uh, well, Kawai-chan has to be going now. Hot date with Damien? <laughs> yep, we're going to the movies today. Aw, that sounds awesome! Wanna come? No thanks, I'm just looking for inspiration right now. Well, if you need inspiration, why don't you go inside and talk with Caitlin-sama? She's always great to talk to about stuff like this. That sounds like a good idea, Kawai-chan! Thanks! No problem, see you later! Later, Kawai-chan! Have fun! <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Caitlin! Oh, Afmo, hey, wasn't expecting to see you today. I hope you don't mind. Kawai Chan said I should talk to you, so I decided to take her advice. Oh, I don't mind at all. Come on in, take a seat. What's up? Well, you know I write fanfics and stories, right? Yeah, for that one website you wouldn't shut up about a year ago. I remember that. Well, I've been writing a lot recently, and I came up with an original story of my own. Oh, that's awesome. Congrats. Yeah, well, it's nice and all, but I've been having a major writer's block, and since you're into theater and stuff, I thought that maybe... Say no more. Huh? You want my expertise in the art of storytelling, don't you? Actually, yeah. I remember you wrote that play for everyone to perform last... Well, you've come to the right place, Afmo! Now, sit back and relax, because I'm going to tell you something I've never told anyone before. Which is? 
I too have written my own original story plot with my OCs. No way! <laughs> yes way! And right here and now is where I'll let you be the first to hear it. Caitlin, I'm honored! Ready? Ready. All right, it all starts on a planet called Nerf, which Travis actually came up with, so credit to him. But yes, on Nerf lives a little girl named Stephanie. She's kind of annoying sometimes, but once you get past her and get into the story, you'll actually like it. Now, Stephanie lives in a house with three alien mommies. There's Calrit, Mamorit, and Twirl. Are they actually her mommies? No, they're actually rocks. Plus, they're not her mommies, they're more like her aunties. Oh! Uh, how? Don't interrupt my story, Avmount. Anyway, Calrit is the coolest one of them all, and she's really good at helping Stephanie learn her way around life, especially given the fact that her mommy was their leader in the rebellion against their home planet. Um, Caitlin, I think you're jumping around too much. How? Well, first off, I'm confused on the order of events. Just let me finish. Anyway, the idea is that Stephanie is a rock herself, but she's actually her mom who gave up her physical form to give birth to her because the rocks don't reproduce like humans do. But Stephanie's mom fell in love with a human, so she wanted to have a baby with a human. Anyway, Stephanie must protect Nerf from the invasion of the rock home planet. Caitlin, this story sounds very familiar to something else I've heard. What are you talking about? It's original and totally not inspired at all. Is there a green rock character in there that also looks like you and says the word Claude all the time? No? Mm hmm. I think you might want to revisit the story just a bit. It sounds too familiar to something else I know of. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish my walk up. Thanks, Caitlin! See you later! Fine! But when this becomes a big thing, don't come crawling back to me! She'll be back. Uh, uh, come on, Zade! You, you're doing good! Hey! Garth! Zane! How's it going? Terrible! It's going great! Zane and I are just jogging! Jogging? Zane? How did you get him to agree to this? Garth! Is a monster! I took one of Zane's precious mint ponies, and if he can get it back for me, then we can end the jog. Give it back! <laughs> Too slow! Well, that's one way to inspire him, but be nice to him, okay? Don't ruin his pony, or I'll ruin you for hurting him. Don't worry, Av. I'm not that much of a jerk. Yes, you are! See you later, Raphael. Gotta run! Catch me if you can, baby brother! When I get you, I'll... <sighs> <laughs> well, at least Zane will be in shape. Hey, Afmel! Travis! Good to see ya! Same to you. Man, it feels like it's been a while. It has. What are you up to? Practicing potions. Wanna see? Sure! Well, come on in! Awesome! I didn't realize you took up potions again. There's a lot you don't know about me, F. And bam! Check it out! Cat potion! Wow! That's awesome, Travis! Oh, I know. Trust me. Now, can you whip me up an inspiration potion? <laughs> oh, F Mao, sweetheart. I'm not that advanced. But I'm sure when I am, I can make a potion that will inspire you for years! <sighs> What's the matter? I've been having a horrible writer's block. Anything I can do to help? That isn't an inspiration potion? Well, maybe give me some ideas to think about? Well, you know what? I have been working on an original story of my own with Caitlin. With Caitlin? Oh, Travis, I don't know if... It all starts in a city. 
You see, in this city, there's a building in the giant shape of a T. Like a cup? This is my story, just listen. Okay, where was I? Ah, yes. It is the hope of the Teen Titans. A group of young superheroes who aspire to be tomorrow's heroes. Courage, honor, dignity, all the things that embody these heroes. But because we need to cut the budget, we have to limit the animation a bit. So now there are a different breed of heroes. There's the peppy one, the emo one, the half robot, half human one, the one that can turn into animals, and the loud one. Though, they're all loud. Anyway, one day in the tower, they decide to have a big party to celebrate their latest victory. When all of a sudden, the emo one takes off her hood and reveals she's the prettiest one. And the beast one is like, wow, she's pretty. So he asks her out and she says yes. And now they get together and fight monsters together. They also get ice cream and pizza and they... Travis, it's a nice story. But how is it supposed to help me with my writer's block? Afmal, listen. You can be inspired in so many ways. I'm just telling you the story I came up with so you can see how amazing. Travis, the story you told me wasn't really a story. Plus, you didn't even bother to change the title of the original. Uh, um, well, you see, that's because... You call that a story? Uh, Gene, what are you doing here? He came over to borrow some of your tools for his place. Yeah. Oh, right, I forgot you moved in. Woohoo! Please contain your excitement. Good to see you, Gene. Same to you. Overheard you were having a hard time getting inspiration. Yeah, I am. I'm just wandering around today trying to find some kind of spark to ignite the fire. Well then, let me help you. Huh? How are you going to help me? By telling you a story never heard of before. Oh god, no! It all begins in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> it's the era of space travel! A young and dashing outlaw is combing the galaxy for excitement and adventure! When he walks into the wrong bar, there he's met with people who want to hurt him. But he's so amazing that he just zaps them all! Does he zap them first or do they zap him? In any case, he's approached by a giant space slug who tell him he's got a job for him and hands him a hilt. Suddenly, the hilt emits a ray of light and it's actually a mystical space sword! Gene... Just wait, it gets better. He ends up becoming a cosmic warrior, and with his cookie friend, they save lots of people! Then, he comes across a beautiful space princess, who he saves, and they go on adventures together! And sometimes make out, and it's just awesome! The end. Gene... I know, it's not an original concept, but it's a better idea. Well, at least you can admit it. <laughs> What was that? You did it, Zane! You caught me! Now I'll make sure you never run from me again. No, baby brother, no! Let me go! Oh, you go, me! Should be proud! Oh, God! Deserve it after all you've done to me today! He's over you, Wait, that's it? Huh? I should kill off a character. What? Why would you do that to your original characters? <laughs> because I love them so much. Now, now. You don't have to. Yes! <laughs> Thanks for the inspiration, guys. I'll see you all around. Or not. <laughs> Whew. I'm glad I'm not one of her OCs. Amen. Hold <laughs> oh, oh, it! You no, wanted me to work out? Well, this, this is up. me working out! Oh, me oh, beating you good. to a bloody pulp! <laughs> 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 I want to make sure you never like. existed! Come on! Stay away from me! Should we save Gareth? Soon. 
this is kind of funny to watch. Hey, has Zane been lifting? He's actually putting a dent in Garth. I think so. Yeah, I think now's a good time to save him.